everybody my name's Claire welcome back to my channel I've got lots of leftover paint only a really small amount just a really small oh excuse my hands um a, sc a small amount of each color but I've got quite a few colors I did a pour with sort of pinks and purples so I've got those I've done another pour with blues and turquoise so I've got those and actually if you put them all together I think they look really pretty so I've got an idea of doing um a sort of graduated swipe with them um, and having that as the basis for um, another design, like a heart shape, which I will embellish on afterwards. So I'm going to do a kind of stained glass swipe. Lots of hopefully get lots of little tiny cells uh, look really, really pretty and then turn it into something once it's dry. Um, so let's get started. Canvas is a 30 centimetre. So going quite small because you'll see I've only got just a little bit of each colour. There's not a lot. Um, I've got a gold, yellow, Venetian rose, a bright pink, a violet, a purple, dark blue, light blue, turquoise, silver and white. Um, so just I'm working out, I, I was thinking about just doing a sort of graduated effect. I might even go diagonally. I guess if I could divide these colours into three sections, I've got turquoise and the blues. Then I've got the gold, yellow and Venetian rose and then the sort of pinks and purples. So if I divided the canvas like that, although I don't know if I've got enough paint to cover the canvas if I start tilting. Let's try. I'm going to go diagonally across the centre with the pinks and the purples to start with. Um, I'm going to do, in fact, if, I'm, if you haven't got enough paint, one thing you can do is just thin it down a bit. Do you know, I think I'm going to do that because then it will stretch further. Um, it means I'll get slightly bigger cells, but that's fine. So I'm actually just going to add a little bit more water to all of these paints just to thin it down a bit. They've all got PVA glue and water in already and coconut um, milk hair serum for the oil. Right, so they're all slightly thinner now. So just going to middle panel, just wiggle these drizzle these colours across. And I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of the silver, I think, in the blue section. Maybe just a little bit of white in the middle. I think I might leave it like that. Right, I'm going to dab the canvas now just to help the, all the bare patches of canvas um, get some paint on. And that will just make the swiping a lot easier. Right, I'm slightly worried this is too gold. Not much I can do about that now. So I'm going to swipe diagonally as well. Um, I've got a piece of plastic here I'm going to use. Just cutting it slightly narrower. So I think I'm just going to swipe in a wiggly line diagonally across the canvas.
So what you'll notice is I've gone all in the same direction. But what I'm now going to do is turn the canvas around the other way because I'm going to go back in the opposite direction. And the reason I do that is when I'm swiping this direction, I'm pulling the paint from this end of the canvas to this end. So I, I'll end up with a sort of bearer patch around the edge. And that can look quite obvious and not very good. So I'm going to now go back the other way. So I'm kind of balancing it all out. Other thing that I like to do is have my wiggles a bit offset. So I'm now going to go back in the middle and it's going to it's it's going to more make like a wavy pattern because they're not all going to be in line with each other. The waves, if that makes sense. I'll try and show you. Wow, these colours are beautiful. Wow, loving this, absolutely loving it. What a beautiful graduation of colours. Oh, it's really pretty. Right, I'm now going to torch. Um, I try, I'm try, going to be trying careful with my torching and not torch too much because I think these cells will expand quite a lot because the paints are quite thin. And I'm going to torch in the direction of the, the waves. So, so happy with it. It is so pretty. Love, love, love the blend. So the yellows to the pinks, to the purples, to the blues. Wow. Cells are a little bit bigger, as I said, in the blue. Um, maybe it's because it's thinner. And then actually, if you come and look in the sort of the pink section here, they're tiny little cells. I, d I thought they were, I thought it was quite thin paint, but it's difficult to tell when you've got different size cups with different size stir sticks. Oh, look, a tiny bit of turquoise there, snuck in with the pinks. Beautiful. And then the blues and the purples. Um, and then there's a really pretty section. There's some really dark pink there in amongst the gold. So I try to blend it. So I tried to get the colours, a little bit of overlapping of the colours, so that it wasn't three such stark panels. And there's quite a bit of pink spread up here into the blue. I'm really, really happy with this. So pretty. I can't wait for this to dry.
So it's now totally finished. I'm really happy with it. Love it. Absolutely love it. I felt that the heart, um, it needed to be a transparent heart. It needed to, I wanted to keep all the edge of the design visible because I think I, it'd just be such a shame to paint over that because my original plan was to keep the heart in the middle, but just paint this as have a kind of neutral background, but so glad I haven't. Um, so to, to, I think the idea is that it looks like a 3D bubble. Um, so it looks like maybe like a water bubble. So you can see that you can see the heart in the middle, but you can also see the design around. So I think it works really well. So just to explain to you what I did, I drew around a heart shape. Um, I then went around the edge with the Posca pen and did a bit of shading with the paintbrush. I wasn't getting the effect I wanted. It wasn't shading properly. So then I got a little tiny piece of sponge and just dabbed it on. And that I think works really well, especially for the white, because you've got, you can see it's, there's no brush strokes there. It's just little speckles. So it, I think it just has a better effect of looking like it's fading out. Um, I then did the same on the black. The black was more difficult. I'm not sure why. Just found it much more difficult. Um, I then went around again with my black Posca pen. I shaded on the outside of the heart there. So it looks like there's a shadow. Um, and then painted on a light reflex. Put some frog tape down and painted the border. Now the border is that violet colour that's actually in the painting. Um, and then I took the frog tape up once it was dry and then I just used a gold pen and a ruler just to create like a little shadow. Um, I don't know if, I don't know what you call them. I call them my shadow borders um, to create a little shadow border, a shadow frame around it. So I'm so, so happy with the result. Such a neat little painting. Um, please tell me what you think. Um, do you think it looks 3D? Um, that's always my question. Does it does it does it actually work and it's oh, i think i can only tell sometimes when i step back and take a take a look from a further distance sometimes i get so close and so involved in the painting i can't tell uh, does it work does it look 3d great thank you so so much for watching um please hit the thumbs up button please do subscribe to my channel great take care everyone bye